Okay, so in order to test people's antibody levels against the bacteria, we have to be able to grow up the bacteria to test it. So we store it in that freezer. Researchers from the Northern Ontario School of Medicine are working to develop vaccines that could prevent the spread of an infectious disease affecting Aboriginal populations in Canada, and particularly in northwestern Ontario. Dr. Marina Yulanova is an immunologist and associate professor with the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, and she is very enthusiastic about the work they are doing. This is a project on a one unusual infection which we found in very high uh, incidence here in northwestern Ontario. This is infection caused by a bacterial pathogen which is caused called the Haemophilus influenza type A. This is a long name. So this is a bacterial infection which is uh, transmitted directly from one individual to another uh, just uh, through a direct contact. Several years ago, it was found that there was a high incidence of this infection in northwestern Ontario, specifically in First Nation communities north of Thunder Bay. This uh, caused my interest to understanding immunological reasons for this. So I'm trying to understand what makes certain people susceptible to this infection. Dr. Yulanova also stated that in a normal population, antibodies should prevent the development of the infection. If the infection develops in certain people, that means that something is missing from the point of immune response. And this is a subject of our research. And uh, we're also trying to understand whether there are some unique characteristics of the microorganism itself. So we uh, have developed several uh, laboratory tests to find out whether people have uh, immune response against this pathogen, so specifically antibody, and whether the antibody present in the blood are functionally active. In the last five years, there have been 13 confirmed cases of this disease in our region, which is a high number considering our population. We're trying to address this, uh, this question from the point of immunology to see if there are any reasons for an increased susceptibility to this infection. And the next step that we are going to take, this is development of a specific vaccine to prevent this infection. The vaccine will be developed in collaboration with researchers at the National Research Council of Canada in Ottawa. So we are trying to make a vaccine which will be helpful to prevent this infection in susceptible people. I'm very uh, enthusiastic about this work and, and uh, I, I'm extremely highly engaged as well as uh, other members of my group because we feel that we can do something important for, for the area so we can find the way to prevent CV infections. And this is what, what uh, only immunologists can dream about. Reporting from the Northern Ontario School of Medicine for Lakehead University's Research and Innovation Week, I'm Janice Gummison.